How, how are you guys at electronics? Oh, right here. Yeah, good. good. Okay, so what we have on board, let's take a look at our stair and start with it. Turn the power on. We can use the remote control for the stereo as well. Um, let's take a look at what it will actually do. We have our AM and FM, of course, FM1, FM2, AM1, AM2. Uh, let's do a channel selection. I should look 92 on one. First of all, let's find out where our speakers are. So one, we have a speaker over here, two is at the back, and three will be outside. You can have them all on, one section on, two sections on, whatever you wish. So if you don't want to disturb people inside, you can actually play it outside, whatever you wish to do. So that's so it does have the ability to have three different speaker systems. The only thing I will caution you on is that at the end of the night, when you're ready to go to bed or past the curfew hour for your radio, if you have number three on, you know, you may not understand, you, know, you may not hear it. So before you get the, the knock from the park board and on the door saying, please turn it down, then you want to make sure that number three is off. You do have Bluetooth, a little sticker is covering that up, but it does have Bluetooth capability so that you can actually have an iPod, a, you know, iPhone such as uh, we have so that we can actually link up and play music through the Bluetooth link. Um, of course, we do have a mute button in case you want to take a telephone call, something to that effect, and you can set the clock off as well. So going back to mode. Front audio video in. We do have an audio video jack in here. We do have a TV audio. Now the TV audio typically is set up so that I can actually listen to the TV uh, programming through the stereo. Normally the TV antenna that sends a signal to the television uh, the sound comes through the, through the television because that's the way it's wired. The tuner is in the television, not in the stereo. So as a result, the signal comes from the TV antenna through to the stereo. On that note, I'll put the TV antenna up. When we do crank it up, crank it up all the way until it stops. We can adjust the antenna by pulling down and rotating. I tell my children that years ago when I was growing up, we used to have a little pole antenna. So what they, my dad used to chase me outside and basically turn the pole until, until the TV and, uh, signal came in. We're doing exactly the same thing here or similar to rabbit ears. Now when we do put it back down again, these two pointers that you'll see here need to be in alignment. Otherwise those blades could be actually hitting the air conditioner, not sitting in the proper pocket on the roof. So we'll leave that up for now. So TV audio is now allowing us to listen through the TV signal onto our stereo. Otherwise we just, if this was off, we could actually listen to the TV programming on the speakers and the television. The next mode, basically front audio in. We have dot uh, rear HDMI. So in behind this panel, there is a provision. If you know there's wiring in behind here, if you were to ever pull these, pop these little side panels off, and if you ever did have the uh, satellite receiver or something to that degree, you could set it here, run up inside, and actually put that into your HDMI in the back. There is a, an HDMI there. Uh, there's a front HDMI in as well. That's a simpler one to use rather than going in behind. Um, and right, I'm not sure which way they got on that one. And again, our stereo. So it does a few different things. There's lots of presets we can set it to. And of course, these are the controls for um, your uh, CD or your DVD because it will play movies as well. And there's a difference between the two. Is it Blu-ray or just CD? Just CD, no Blu-ray, yeah. They haven't gotten that, to that technology level yet. And I'm not sure that uh, Blu-ray is going to be in existence much longer anyway, right? With the technologies no, that are coming out. So I think we'll just end up seeing that totally bypassed. Now you've got your USB input in here so that I have seen people take properly formatted movies on USB sticks and do that as well. So let's go to our television. So our television, little receptor is down in the lower right hand corner. And turn that on. So we'll turn the volume down here. So the television actually will pop out and move around on an articulating arm and in behind. Um, you can actually see that there's a little booster light. This booster light in behind, I can turn that on or off. That is actually the coax coming from your TV antenna. If I were to turn that off, I lose any signal amplification coming from my TV antenna. So you want to make sure that that is on. Um, we're going to go to our source. No, you don't tell the kids that. Either. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, don't tell the kids that exactly. He's not working. Yeah. Um, Then we go to. So what we'll want to do is when we turn the television on, we want to go to the source of the signal. Right now, that's it's set on TV. So we have. Let me take a look in the back of the television. We do have the video. So the yellow RCA jack tells me that the, the 
basically the movies are going to be played on the AV setting. So if I put my movie in, I set it to AV, I will then not be allowed to watch a movie from the, the DVD slash CD player. So that's what I would set it at. The other source, of course, if I want to watch the TV antenna, I enter that. Um, it will allow you to program the stations that are available in the area by doing so. So if I go to the menu, uh, I can actually change this between air, uh, sorry, air and cable. If you do go to a park that has cable, there's provision to plug the, the cable into the side of the trailer. You need to make sure that the amplifier, this amplifier is off. Okay, this amplifier here is off because if not, that will, uh, that will mess with your cable signal. Okay, so cable and then we have going back to air. You can do the auto scan, we do the enter, scan all stations. Typically all that's available these days is, is digital anyway. So we can scan digital channel only and once it goes through those scans it will automatically exit out and all we have to do at that point is just basically use our channel up and down. So uh, 31 one. We all know Smucker's so the signal that does come in, should you get it, is excellent because it is a digital signal. Digital, however, is very directional. So sometimes if we don't get it and we start to get a little pixely effect, we have to rotate the, the antenna around so that we actually help get the, the signal in a little bit better. So that's what we do. So typically down in, uh, say, Port Dover, for example, I've seen upwards of 16, 20 stations. Up North Bay, one. So depending again, of course, right? So. Again, we set it on TV antenna signal uh, to watch the TV antenna. Now let's go to our modes. And right now, our signal is coming through our televisions. We're using the TV speakers to listen to that signal. We should be able to go over to everywhere. Okay, TV audio. And we actually just turn the volume down. Zero. And now the, the TV antenna signal is going through our stereo speakers. And again, that you can allow it to play outside as well. If you're listening to a ball game or something to that degree, you can actually listen to it. You can actually listen to it outside. Okay, so that gives you a little bit more flexibility. If you don't want that on, then basically you just have to make sure that then you are uh, using the speakers on the television itself. Your movies, of course, would be played through the, the stereo system speakers because that is the that's the source of the signal. Any questions on the audio video? Okay. okay. It's very uh, decent little system. Furion has actually been uh, very good. Now, when this does go back in, you'll notice that there's actually a little push just to kind of lock it in. Make sure everything's out of the way, of course. And then you don't. Yeah.